Yo, 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 hey guys, it's Poppin' Jock Say here. Back with another unboxing, and today, uh, we've got something brand new. The sneakers that are in here are brand new. I imagine that, I'm gonna say, 99% of you have not seen this shoe yet. It's, again, brand new. This is the first model. This is the 001 version of this shoe, and I get to unbox it right here on the channel for you guys, which is always exciting for me. As you can see, they sent me a very nice package. Now this, as you can imagine, is just a media package. This is not how the shoes will come in retail, but they sent me a nice package because they knew I was gonna unbox it here on the channel. So thank you to the good folks over at Painter. And that is the name of the brand. The shoe brand is called Painter. Let's take a look at the shoes. Uh, first, they gave this nice media box and uh, opens up very nice. Uh, imagine those are magnets down there. And here you go. So this is a golf shoe, which you guys know I am very, very excited about. It's called P-A-N-Y-T-E-R, and then that's their Painter logo. It's a golf shoe. This is the 001, and it is the F001F. They also have a hat, which is 001H. And they have a glove, which is 001 G, F, footwear, G, glove, H, hat. This is all 001. Now, this isn't just some upstart golf brand that just came out of nowhere. There's actually a little bit of history here. Actually, there's a lot of history here because the painter, which the name she was named after, David Painter, is actually a cricket player and he created a cricket brand over in the UK, but it's not just him alone. He actually linked up with Mike Forsey. And for those of you that are really, really into the world of golf, you know that Mike Forsey is a legend. He's been in the game like 30 years. He helped uh, create signature shoes for Tiger Woods, Jordan Spieth, and uh, quite a few other people. And he's also worked at Under Armour, Nike, and a few other places when it comes to golf. So the guy has his bona fides for sure. Uh, but I just like the way that this looks. This is really cool. I thought that was really dope. Very dope graphic. So more than that, let's actually see what we have here. So they have some golf tees, some black and white golf tees, which are always really, really nice. So thank you for these, uh, because the way that I play golf, I break these all of the time. Um, and then they included a glove. Let's see here. They have a new glove that they're promoting. Again, this is the 001 G. Uh, nice and thin, feels nice. Feels like it's some nice thin leather. I love that they have the accenting there with the black and the red there. Then they have the logo there. Nice Velcro strap. Looks very nice. This is a large. I generally wear a large and uh, yeah, that fits, that fits pretty good. So that's a large and it's a, it's a little big. So you might want to uh, check your size when you when you get one of these because that does feel a little, feel a little big. Yeah, a little loose, a little loose for a large for me, for me. But maybe I'm losing weight in my hands. Yeah, because that's where it actually happens. All right, let's get to what we really came here to see the kicks. Again, this is the Painter 001F and here you go i'm already kind of getting some vibes here especially knowing that mike worked on these so the vibes are strong from some of his past work so if you're familiar let's just take a quick look quick overview so it looks like it has a waterproof upper here just from my first impressions here nice padded collar not super thick it's actually kind of soft so you have some nice soft padding there uh, they don't have spikes on the bottom. They have these, uh, I guess we're gonna call them nubs. There's some nubs there on the bottom and they're multi-directional and they're soft. So this is a soft rubber. So there are no hard nubs here. You know, sometimes when they do the nubs, they make them pretty hard. These are pretty malleable. They're pretty soft and they're movable. So I imagine this will be better off the course as well. If you wanna wear these around, you can, Definitely, you'll definitely be able to have some movement. You won't be sliding around because the nubs aren't too hard. Now, there's a couple of different directions. With These are really light. Goodness gracious, I'm just throwing them around. Didn't even mention how light they are. Back to the nubs on the outsole. I'm so easily distracted, my bad. So you can see here that they have different directions. So they have like these angled, almost like wings here at the toe and those go across the lateral, yes, the lateral side of the foot. And then they return here on the medial side of the heel. And my thought is, oh, it actually trails up here towards your arch as well. So the inside arch of your foot, as well as 
the lateral side and then the medial side of the heel. So they have like this, this introduction of this angled and I imagine that's to help keep you locked down into the ground with your swing from when you're moving your foot, you know how if your, your front foot should mostly stay still as much as possible, and then that back foot obviously comes around. So this is gonna help you get that traction in that front foot when you're making sure that you stay planted down with these angled, that's gonna angle down into the ground a little more. And then they have these round nubs, which are pretty nice as well. So usually I just do an unboxing when it comes to sneakers. I just take the shoes out, take a look at them, get my first impressions. But this time I wanted to do something different. I wanted to get an actual feel for the shoes. So right now we're out at Valencia Vista Golf Course doing a trial of the new Painter 001 just to see how they feel. Uh, I've been hitting a couple balls already. And one thing that I can tell you is that they do feel a little snug. So if you'd like your shoes a little looser, I would say go up a half a size. I have an 11 and the toe box is a little cramped. Mind you, I do have thick socks on, so that could be part of the reason as well. But if you're going for these, I would definitely recommend you sizing up unless you just go with like no socks. For me, I have thick socks on, I'm wearing an 11 and they definitely feel a little snug and a little tight at the toe. So my immediate recommendation would be to go up a half a size otherwise they feel pretty great you can feel the dual density foam so it's a little harder in the heel and a little softer at the toe so the experience has been pretty great the nubs they feel great they keep you locked in i'm really not mad at it it's a it's a it's a good shoe definitely a good first shoe for a brand that's just starting out in the golf world and i'm really looking forward to seeing what they do next but i'm gonna go hit a couple more balls see how it feels and i'll let you guys know Okay, uh, we are officially back from the range and here is kind of like the condition of the shoe after one wear. You see, not, not too much damage. Obviously this was just on the range and not actually playing a full round, but you can kind of see it's a little dirty. There's a clear outsole, but not much. As far as the shoe goes, I would say it's a little tight on me here in this area in the toe box. I think the firmer heel actually feels nice when planting your foot. And then the softer toe gives you that, that little bit of rotation that you need. So so overall, again, I would say this is a, a good effort for a very first shoe. So shout out to the folks at Painter. Uh, thanks for sending these over and getting a chance to try these out. I'm actually gonna give them in a full round, hopefully this weekend or maybe next weekend or sometime next week. But yeah, I think it's a good first effort. All right. Back to the unboxing. Most of this upper is waterproof. It feels like really maybe the whole thing is waterproof. It looks like this is all synthetic leather. I don't think you're gonna get any like quality leather on here. It's gonna be more synthetics, which is actually going to be better when it comes to being waterproof. And that trails up around the heel. There might be some leather here on the heel. I'm not exactly sure if that's leather. It has a nice print if it isn't leather. And then you have some foam and just from touching the foam here, it feels like there's some two densities of foam here. So uh, they have a dual density foam here, I'm gonna say. So you have a firmer foam here in the heel and then it transitions to a softer foam at the toe. And I imagine that's all about the swing and keeping your swing where you have a firm heel, but then you have a soft toe to keep that firm base down when you're when you're going through your swing. And I keep acting like I have a golf club in my hand doing this. I know you guys are like, what is he doing? Laces are pretty nice. They're rope laces, which is which are nice and they're actually textured, which is gonna stop them from coming apart or help stop them from coming apart during the middle of your round. I like the pop of red here at the bottom to give you a little bit of color to the shoe. Now this is the black colorway, but they're going to be coming in a white colorway and a gray colorway as well. Now, when it comes to these, uh, although they do look nice and uh, kudos to them for coming out with a, a pretty sleek design right out of the gate, feels a little bit like a, kind of like a running shoe almost, or like a training shue almost. I like, the, I like the vibes though, even though it's a golf shoe. The, the focus of this shoe really is performance though. Uh, David and Mike have this philosophy of force, 
times velocity equals power. And what they tried to do with the design is they built in these things to help work with that force and that velocity. So you have the traction on the outsole for, for the force. Then you have this cushioning here, which changes up based on where your foot is to help with the velocity. But if you actually look inside of the shoe as well, you see that they use graphene, which is kind of like a carbon fiber plate. And from what I understand, it travel, yeah, it travels from right about here at the midfoot and then it pops out here towards the back. So you have that full rigidity and that turning of your foot when you're making that turn, you have that bounce back and that snap to help you there. So overall, as a first offering, I think this is a very good start. Big shout out to the folks over at Painter. Uh, I think they came out of the blocks at blazing speeds. This is a good looking model. And if it performs as well as it looks, I think that's gonna be a big deal as well. From what I understand, these are actually available right now. So if you wanna go get yourself a pair, head over to painter.com and I'll put the info down in the description. But yeah, just wanted to give you guys a first look at the Painter 001F for footwear. They also have the glove. They also have the hat. I think it's something that you guys are definitely gonna be interested in, especially if you're into golf the way that I am. I'm always willing to try new shoes and see how they work on the course. All right, with that being said, as always, I'm Jacques Slade. Make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. And uh, that's really only if you want to though. I don't want to force you to do anything you don't want to do. All right, you guys, I appreciate you. Peace.